The Essential Workspace is fine, but it does lack a couple of really handy panels. So next I'm going to show you how you can create your own workspace and save it so that it's always available to you and it's relevant for your workflow, not what Adobe thinks you need. Now to do this, I'm going to rearrange some of the panels. The first of which is the layers panel. This is one of the most critical parts of Illustrator and it allows you to be able to organize your artwork. And we're going to look at this in more detail, but for now it really needs to be one of those panels that's always visible on screen because you're going to be using it on a regular basis. And it just so happens that it's here just at the side of the properties panel, but it's tucked behind. So I'm going to left click on the layers panel. I'm actually going to drag it out from the side of the screen. So I'm going to hover my cursor over the name layers, click and hold down the mouse and drag this over here. When I let go of the mouse, the size of the panel will shrink down in size and we're left with, well, the layers panel floating here on screen and the properties and the libraries panel. Now for the moment, we don't need the libraries panel, but we don't see an X in the panel there to close it down. So if this is the case and your panels are docked, you'll have to head to the tab name, right click on that tab name and choose close and that hides the panel. Properties is really handy for us because as I mentioned in the previous video, many of the options we need will be found in the properties panel. I don't want the layers panel floating on screen because that's going to become really tedious. So I want to dock it back over on the right hand side, but this time I want both the properties panel and the layers panel to be constantly visible, not tucked behind one another. So to achieve that, again, I'm going to hover my cursor over the tab name of layers, click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and drag over. Now I'm going to drag over here, but it's really where your mouse is on screen that counts. Illustrator is constantly looking at where the tip of the cursor is. So if I drag that up, not onto the word properties, but just higher up above that tab name for properties, where my cursor is, you'll see a thick blue line appear. That's again, Illustrator's way of saying, okay, you can stack this on top of properties when you let go of the mouse now. And that's what it does. So we now have layers visible and properties. We've still got a bit of room left over in here. So this will put us in a good position to have most of what we need to start off with. The only thing is that at the moment, if I go back up to the workspace switcher menu, this is telling us that this is still really essentials. Well, what we need to do is save this. I'm going to hover over and click on new workspace, which really ought to be called save workspace. When I left click on that, it'll ask you for a name. So we'll call this basic. Once you click OK, then it's now available as one of your user created workspaces. If someone jumps on your machine as people often do and they grab panels and move them around and do things which just completely upset you, then you can always go back to that menu and then go down and choose reset basic. Put everything back where you know it and where you like it. So you've got just the tools that you need for your workflow. You can keep adding to this in the future. So you can go and add panels in here, go back to the workspace which your menu, you could choose new workspace. If you want to overwrite the existing one, give it the same name. But that is how you can create a custom workspace inside of Illustrator.